So many of you out there haven't heard of a vector or raster file. Vector files are a little bit different from raster files, and what I'm going to do in this screencast is explain the difference between them both. At Sensei Apparel, we require all artwork that's submitted for screen printing and embroidery to be in a vector format, and all artwork that's submitted for digital printing to be in a high quality raster format. Uh, the difference is, is a little bit um, tough to explain without a screencast, so bear with me here. Um, basically, Adobe Illustrator, Encapsulated PostScript, and PDF are more of a vector format. Um, sometimes PDF isn't a vector, um, sometimes they put a raster inside of a vector, but we can kind of explain that with the screencast as well. The preferred raster formats for digital printing are either a PDF, PSD, which is a Photoshop file, a high-resolution TIFF, or a JPEG. And digital printing is more of uh, the same type of printing that you would do on your home printer, but instead of being on paper, it's on a t-shirt. Um, most of the stuff we do is in vector format, and even if it is being digital printed, we can still do vector format for digital printing. Um, so to explain the difference, I have a couple files loaded. Uh, one is in Photoshop. Uh, it's the Creative Commons logo. Get that out of the way for you. Um, and the other one is a vector file in Illustrator. Uh, of course, the one in Illustrator is a vector. The file in Photoshop is a raster. Um, so you can't really tell the difference between both files at this point. Uh, they look very similar, but uh, as they say, looks can be deceiving. So let's zoom in on the Illustrator file and we'll see exactly what this logo looks like close up. And as you can see, I'm gonna zoom until I can't zoom anymore. And the edges around this logo are very, very, very crisp, crisp and clear. Uh, there's no pixelation at all. And this is because in a vector format, the program actually plots out every little curve. So you see that right there, we have anchors and paths around every curve. Uh, that way, if we wanted to uh, take this logo and make a business card out of it, we could do that, or we could blow it up to the size of a big billboard and uh, use the same file for both. So you can make it as big as you want and as small as you want. It really doesn't matter. It's never gonna lose any type of quality at all. So let's go over to our Photoshop file here, which is the same logo, but this version is in a raster format. So let's zoom in. And as you can see very, very quickly, we have pixelation on the edges. So let's zoom out here. Does it really look pixelated from this point? But if you zoom in, it's pixelated. Um, that's because this is a raster image. It's in Photoshop. Um, now, it doesn't really, most people will say, well, you know, I'm printing it, you know, a few inches wide by a few inches tall. Can't you just use the, the raster file? But when we go to actually create the screens, you will see the edges of that rastered file, and it will print very poor quality. Now, when we're printing for digital, it's a little bit different. Uh, with digital, you can print, as long as the file is big enough, you can print it um, the same as you can see it on your computer. There's no uh, difference in, in quality as long as the file on your computer is very, very uh, high quality. The image that's printed on the printer is going to be high quality because it didn't really, we don't have to break these into colors. Um, you know, we print one file and one file only and it outputs to the printer and we're good to go. Um, but with the Illustrator document, the vector image, we actually have to split this up into individual colors. If this was a three color file, we would have to create three different screens for it and it would have to be a high quality vector in order for that to happen. Now, um, let's say you don't have an Illustrator file, you don't have a encapsulated pro postscript file 
um, you only have a raster format. Um, that's fine. We can convert um, images from raster format to vector. Uh, it just takes some time and, and we, uh, we have an art fee for that. But if you have a vector file, um, it is in Illustrator uh, or one of the compatible formats, uh, you should be good to go. Now, uh, let's touch really briefly on Photoshop format or the portable document format, PDF. Um, you can have a rastered image inside of a vector format. Um, so let's do this. Let's take Photoshop and let's go ahead and let's go ahead and copy this image. And we'll go over to Illustrator. Oh, I copied the vector. Um, hold on one second. Go ahead and flatten. Flatten this image. So let's go ahead and copy this and then we're going to put it into Adobe Illustrator. So as you can see one of these files, one of these images, looks a little bit different. And the one on top, as you can see, is a rastered image. The one on bottom is a vectored image. But if I save this file right now, this would be included in that Illustrator file, even though it's just one big rastered image and it's not a vectored image. So you, as you can see, some designers will put this in an Illustrator file and say, hey, here's your Illustrator file. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not a vector, it's just a rastered image inside of Illustrator. So uh, as long as you have that high quality Illustrator format, then we can, we can screen print your shirts, no problem, without any kind of art fees at all. We just essentially break apart the file for you and put it into a screen and print it off. Um, but if you have a rastered image and you're doing screen printing or embroidery, it will take some time um, for our artists to convert everything over from a raster to a uh, vector. So I hope this was a good screencast for you. I hope that uh, you got the, uh, the concept. If you do have any questions, uh, comments, anything, uh, feel free to give us a call at 513-451-5000. You can speak to one of our artists or one of our salespeople. Uh, they will help you get your file into the format that we needed in in order to print your shirts. Um, or help you convert it if you need it converted. Um, again, this is Cincy Apparel. Um, we screen print t-shirts. Uh, we would love to earn your business. Give us a call at 513-451-5000 or visit us on online at www.cincyapparel.com. Thank you and have a great day.